I'm here with a Melissa and Doug What's Cooking Pots and Pans playset. This is an eight piece stainless steel playset. Let's check it out. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. I found these in Marshalls the other day for $14.99 and I thought that was a decent price for these. And I've seen these before and I was always curious about them because they're basically just a set of mini stainless steel pots and pans. Now I do have a set of mini stainless steel pots and pans from Ikea. I don't use them for cooking, but when I saw these I thought this set would be really interesting to use with my nostalgia soup and sandwich maker, for example, or with my Sabbath heat mini oven, or maybe even some of my other small appliances. That's why I purchased these. On the bottom, it gives us some more information. It says that these are food safe, dishwasher safe in the top rack, and they are not for use in microwave oven or stovetop. Well, I don't plan on using these in the microwave oven or stovetop. My plan was to use these with mini appliances, so as long as they're food safe, I'm okay with that. So let's open up this set and see what we have here. Here is the Nostalgia Sandwich and Soup Maker, and this is the open griddle portion. Let's see if this will fit. Oh my gosh, it is a perfect fit. Like it goes all the way to the bottom. It's not floating on top. It is an absolutely perfect fit, and if I move it from side to side, it hardly moves. The only thing about this one is on the bottom, it's not perfectly flat. Um, like. The edges are lower than the top, but hopefully that's okay. Now on the bottom it does say food safe, dishwasher safe, not for use in microwave, not oven safe, not stove top safe. It should be mini appliance safe. And here we have a mini skillet. It's not as deep as the mini saucepan. And will it fit in the nostalgia griddle? I don't know. No, this one doesn't. This one is a little bit wider, so it actually floats on top. It does fit. I mean, it's 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 pretty stable there, but it's not it's not touching the bottom. So that's a bit of a disappointment. And here we have what looks like a mini soup pot. And here's the nostalgia. Will it fit? No, this one doesn't fit. It's too big. This one is definitely too big for the nostalgia. It also comes with this mini stainless steel colander, which is really cute, although if you notice, there are not any holes on the bottom, so as far as being a functional colander, I don't know how useful this really is. And it comes with a lid. So here's the mini skillet, and the lid fits on there. Here's the mini saucepan, the lid fits on there. And here's the mini soup pot, and the lid fits on there. It comes with a nice little stainless steel ladle. And it comes with this other type of ladle. I don't even know what you would call this. To me, this is like something that you use to pick up spaghetti with. This does have a hole on the bottom, so it would drain liquid. And that's what this reminds me of, like a spaghetti strainer. And here we have the entire eight piece set. So we have the mini skillet, the mini soup pot, the mini saucepan, the mini colander, then we have the mini lid which fits on all of the pots, pans, and the colander. We have the mini ladle, then we have this other type of mini ladle, and that's seven pieces, but we also have the storage rack that they came on. So that's eight pieces in total, including the storage rack. Here is my Dash mini rice cooker, and the soup pot almost fits. I mean, it fits like this, but it's not deep enough to press down what needs to be pressed down in the center here. So that's not going to work. This is the Dash Mini Griddle. Will anything fit on here? So the soup pot's too big. The saucepan fits on here. So this one has the smallest bottom for sure. It just fits and the skillet does not fit. Here is the Dash Egg Bite Maker, and the skillet fits in here, the saucepan fits in here, and the soup pot fits in here. And the other question I have is what about the Dash Mini Toaster Oven? Look at that, the soup pot fits in the mini toaster oven. It won't fit with the cover on because this part, the handle, hits the heating element. I'm here with my Dash Mini Griddle and this little Melissa and Doug stainless steel 
mini saucepan and I have the saucepan on the griddle. I'm heating it up right now and I want to make myself some breakfast today and I have some steamed squash that I made last night. I just want to heat it up and kind of eat it like you would eat oatmeal. That's why I'm heating up this pot right now. I'm going to put the steamed squash in it. Oh, you hear the sizzle? Okay, so there's the squash. I just covered the pot. I can hear it cooking already. Let's cover it. And I'll be back in like five minutes. It's been about two and a half minutes now, so let's see what's going on here. Handle's not hot yet. Since these pots and pans are all metal, there's no um, like silicone or insulation or anything. Just be, I have to be careful with the handles. The handle on this is not hot right now. There is some steam coming out of this. So there is some cooking going on, but it's still very cold. I just want to stir it around a little bit. Yeah, it needs quite a bit more time. It's about six minutes later. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, the top is a little bit warm. Stir this around. So it's warm now, but it's like, it's not hot. I mean, it's, it's barely warm in some locations. All right, I stirred it around. Let's see what's going on now. Let's see. I would like it to be hotter than that. So I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to cook it for another five minutes. It's been another five minutes. There's a lot of steam coming off now. Okay, let's, let's check the squash. Really hot. This is done. So I'm unplugging the Dash Mini Griddle. And this worked great. And I should say that the handle is still cool. And yeah, this pot worked well. So here's the inside of the pot. It worked well, just like any other stainless steel pot would. Here's the bottom of the pot. There's no discoloration or anything. Uh, yeah, this pot held up really well to cooking on a mini appliance. <laughs>